Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord update video. Now I want to make this video as quick as possible so we're going to get straight into the facts and we're going to start talking about some of the new features that were announced on the German website GameStar today and I've had a lot of help translating it obviously using Google Translate and obviously thanks to Wheezy for helping me uh, with the some of the German in there. Now the basis of this article is that the writers were able to go to the Tail World's headquarters in Turkey and they were able able to play Bannerlord, which we know is a massive, massive privilege, something that I would absolutely love to do, I would kill to do that, and basically they were able to ask a bunch of questions to do with the game. So the first one talks about battle sizes. Now battle sizes is an interesting topic because in Warband you could actually get battle sizes above the maximum of 300 using the battle sizer mod. However, in Bannerlord they have basically said in this article that there's going to be a minimum of 500 fighters, which means like it's going to be the minimum. So hopefully that means it's very optimized, like 500 fighters is going to be an optimized version. But there can be over a thousand on the field, whether or not there's going to be a max, maybe a thousand is the max. Uh, that'll be interesting to see, but I'm sure a mod will release that will allow you to push those boundaries just a little bit. Now, obviously... There is a max AI in the native game because obviously they know anything more than that will cause lag and the, that amount of AI is kind of optimized to the game. So hopefully we will see a good optimized figure at around a thousand but for people that have good PCs I'm sure we'll be able to push it even higher than that. Now battle sizes in multiplayer we don't even know anything about. I assume it's going to be hopefully 500 slots servers is what I want to have. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next up we have the improved physics of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Obviously in Warband physics wasn't the best thing. You can go up uh, on a, if you go on a horse and then go backwards up a mountain you can actually almost levitate up that mountain. Things like that didn't really make a lot of sense, but that's what kind of made Warband Warband. It wasn't super accurate, but it was just really, really fun. Now in Bannerlord, I think they're set to change that a lot. They'll be focusing on getting rid of those really weird physics and adding in some more realistic ones because that's what they're aiming to do, making this game look beautiful and obviously making it flow as realistically as possible. Reading through the article, you can tell that the cavalry's physics is going to be improved because you're going to be able not just to hit someone like you do in Mountain Blade, like just collide with the character, they're kind of disabled from swinging weapons, etc. You're going to be able to collide into the infantry. Now, when you smash into that infantry, it's going to have a bowling effect. So that infantry line will go flying. Obviously, if they're bracing with spears or pikes or something, that's not going to be the case. The cavalry are going to get skewered. But this is very like Total War. And I think you know when I say that uh, when the cavalry in Total War smashes into a line of infantry, that infantry gets absolutely smashed over and they'll basically fly off and get run over and they'll be stabbed, etc. I think that's the kind of effect they're going for because you don't want to just have a huge cavalry charge and then hitting into the infantry and then the infantry just standing there or taking that weird little knock they have in Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, where they just kind of like get disabled from all swinging and fighting for a second. Um, I think if we have something a little bit better than that, I will be very, very pleased. The next point is nothing too interesting. It just talks about how the map is four times bigger. Uh, we've seen map images already from some of the, I think it was from last year, E3. Uh, we kind of know what the map looks like and how big it's going to be, but there may be changes upon a final release. The next point is definitely something that we know of already through developer blogs, and I think the 40-minute gameplay footage that we got last year, and that is that there's going to be minor factions within cities. When I say minor factions, I mean like the robbers, uh, there's going to be criminals, you know, trading guilds, etc., where you can kind of like trade your goods and buy and sell. Uh, I guess it's going to be a little bit more expanded than that. Trendy, trading guilds, maybe like independent corporations which kind of go across the whole map. Maybe they're stuck to one area. Who really knows? I'm not entirely sure. There's also a huge emphasis on the amount of quests in these areas. So we're never going to run out of things to do. The last point is perhaps the most interesting one. And it talks about the sandbox where... It says, from the stupid mercenary in an army to a successful knight, you can be a trader, a farmer, a merchant, and of course, nobility. Obviously, nobility, we go around as lords or maybe inde independent as uh, soldiers in Mountain Blade Warband Raid and kill villagers and, you know, kill other nobility from other factions. Uh, basically, it talks about Mountain Blade. In Mountain Blade 2, you can be anything. As a player, I can build my own castles. Wait, that point, building your own castles. 
what does that mean you can design it from the ground up does that mean you can add certain things to it like we could in warband does that mean we can just how customizable will our castles be that is a very big question um some other medieval games such as of kings of men did say that they're going to have castle building but it never happened i really would like to see a very very good castle building system imagine if you could build your own castles without having to go into like a map editor or something like that that would be amazing now it talks about you can have your own armies obviously you can build your own army and you can have commercial empires obviously i'm not sure how much control you have over the commerciability i think that's a word of your empire maybe you can control trade routes etc um it also talks about how it can improve his skills with the countless weapons obviously there's going to be countless weapons because we have customizable weapons which means we're going to have a lot of different ones which have different strengths weaknesses etc um, so you can forge, hack, haggle, and abduct. That last point of abducting, can you kidnap um, other people, maybe? So obviously, when we were fighting a warband, you could fight other lords and maybe take them prisoner. You can sell them for a ransom. They can escape. Uh, but actually being able to kidnap other people for your advantage, maybe for a quest, could offer some really, really interesting gameplay. Now, this could just be for diplomacy reasons. For example, say you have a lord of the Sturgeons faction, and the Sturgeons want, I don't know, one of your thieves and are trying to attack it. Well, you could say, we're going to kill this guy if you don't stop attacking my thief, for example. Or we could go across the whole route of trying to kidnap one of the quests. Imagine if one of the quests was trying to infiltrate like a castle and basically having to, I don't know, maybe even kidnapping like the king of the Sturgeons or something like that. That would be so, so cool. Sadly, I cannot read the rest of the article because I don't have a GameStar subscription. Uh, if you're German and have a GameStar subscription, make sure to comment down below, leave your Steam link or something, and I'm sure I can make an addition to this video. Um, I also heard there's been some screenshots released, but I can't get hold of those screenshots, which is really annoying. Um, so if I get hold of them, I will. I might make a video on them, but if there's only enough content there for me to make a video out. If not, I'll be posting them in my Steam group, so go down in the description and find my Steam group, which you can join, and there's always video announcements and other types of announcements on there to do with my channel. Anyway, guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next battle